basically, we just are born people pleasers. And we have to back off that. We have to make self-care a priority, and that's been a very hard one for me, but I'm finally getting it. We have to be aware of our energy being depleted and change things so that that doesn't happen. And, you know, I used to leave gaps, I guess, in my protection against taking on energy because I wanted to be able to pick up around me those that might need my help. I was like, you know, the lamb being led to the slaughter, but I was leading myself. These are people that weren't asking for help. And I finally learned to ask, is there anyone that I could do anything for? And leave it up to them if they wanted to indicate they could use some assistance. We can't just butt in. We can't just take over and think we're doing the right thing. We're not only violating their right to free will, but we are disempowering them we're hurting ourselves. There are people that are specifically coming for that good angel energy. They may not know what it is exactly, but they know it's good shit. And they are intending to take your energy by asking, asking, asking. And we think of vampires as, you know, with the teeth and the biting the neck and sucking the blood and so we think of only people that appear to have very obvious bad intentions and as I have found recently that is not the case I don't know if this happens to you but I have a lot of people that tell me I don't know why I'm just drawn to you people that flatter you that, you know, boost your ego, that are always wanting to hang out with you because you are so wonderful, also can be depleting your energy. So you may be suspicious of one kind of person and it's actually not the person that is taking away your life force energy. You know, if your antenna go up and you think, really? Aren't you laying it on a bit too thick for not even knowing me? There's a sign that you should be paying some attention to your energy level. If you aren't doing it already, you need to have strong boundaries. You are going to have to tell people, you know, I am flattered and thank you for admiring me, but, you know, I need some space or something about this just isn't ringing true for me. I guess, you know, that would be insulting, but you could say that if someone would listen to the first things you said. You know, you have to find a way to let people know you only have so much of you to go around. We have to set boundaries. And again, it's not just to protect ourselves from the assholes. It can be the sweetest people on earth, but they are still soaking up our energy by asking for our time and attention. We forgive. Because, you know, we understand it's not easy to be a human from having observed. We certainly understand it now. But we forgive too much sometimes. It goes back to that empowering thing. Sure, you can give someone a second chance, but don't give them a third and a fourth and a fifth without asking for them to make some changes to show you that they have earned that. Think about it. If you called out your little angel and have them sitting across from you and they came home from little angel school and said Billy slapped me you might say oh maybe Billy was having a bad day did he say he was sorry yeah but it hurts well you know you could see if it's different next time you see Billy now if your little angel came the second time and said 
Billy laid me out on the playground, you would not tell your little angel, go let him take a few more punches at you a third time. There is a limit. When you look across at someone you love, you would not tell them to keep giving chance after chance to be hurt. And of course, we're talking physical here with Billy and your little angel. But, you know, that's not the only way we're hurt. So yes, you could be forgiving, but don't keep giving chances unless the person is showing you that they're making some effort to correct things. You know, and it's okay to point out to them what those efforts maybe should be. Maybe that's exactly where they need your assistance. Maybe they never realized they've been doing a certain thing. And unless you point it out to them, they're not going to know. You can't correct something unless you realize it needs correcting. So yes, forgiveness is important. But there is such a thing as over-forgiving. And then, of course, I'm sure you are not nearly as generous to yourself about forgiving. Self-forgiveness, self-love are very important, and self-care. Now, if you watched the Wing Chakra video, you know, I talked just briefly about the imbalance. You know, we're so used to living from the heart, and a lot of us are uncomfortable about realizing that we have our own personal power, and we actually could be making more of it. Some of us are meant to be leaders. Some of us are meant to be organizers. And we are reluctant because we didn't have to take any position of leadership where we were. You know, I'm not going to say we were just minions. I think that's the word. It's just, you know, we did what we were supposed to do. There were no classifications or rankings. We just did supposed to do. We didn't have to tell people what to do. We just did what they needed. So then we come here and I think many of us had experiences as children where we experienced the backlash of people that abused their power, that hurt us by using their power. So those two things make us reluctant, but we have to empower ourselves also. So don't be so afraid of it. If you're asked to be a leader of a group or be an organizer in a charity event or something, and it feels uncomfortable, yes, it's uncomfortable because it's something that you may find threatening because people have abused their own power against you in the past, but you're not going to abuse it. You just won't.